Hi, I'm Ted Meyer, and I am in England with Alison Romancek. Um, we landed up meeting because we're both artists that do work about scars, and we came across each other's work through the interweb and things like that. Although we came at the scars from a different angle, I started working on scars after my symptoms went away as a way to focus on illness, whereas you used to do other sort of work and then got sick and started working about scars. So why don't you tell us what happened with you? I've always been a portrait photographer. I'm really interested in people and faces. About five years ago, I was diagnosed with a large tumour, a sarcoma, um, and ended up with a huge scar right down my body with about 70 staples holding it together. So naturally, as a photographer, I thought I should start documenting this. Uh, but at the time, I was just too ill, and I didn't have the motivation to, to do it. As luck would have it, it came back four years later. Uh, lucky. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> Another opportunity for a, a, for art. a portfolio. Yeah. Um, and so I had to have a, a second operation. Uh, two weeks before that operation, I met survivors from Burns from South Africa, and was asked by the, the by the head of that charity to take some photos of the children. And so my photography, taking scars, progressed from that, really. But you've done a whole series of other people with sarcoma, not just yourself. Yes. That, that, I mean, it started off with the, with the burn survivors. I guess I found it easier to take, like yourself, to take photographs of other people rather than turn it in on myself and take photos of my own body. I was put in touch with the, the CEO of Sarcoma UK, uh, who loved my photographs and had an idea that I should do a project to raise awareness of sarcoma, which is a very rare form of cancer. Some of these children in Africa, and we'll put some pictures up, are severely burned. Their faces are severely burnt. And a lot of times with scar work, people are uncomfortable looking at the images. And you've done work that some of it, although technically beautiful, I love the life coming out of these kids. They're really hard to look at. What do you say to people when they're like, why, why do you photograph these severely burnt kids that are so hard to look at? It's, it's a real difficulty, and Dora, who the charity was established because of, is particularly difficult to look at. You need to get to know Dora, really, to, to know how, how kind of wonderful she is. So a photograph doesn't necessarily work with her, but in terms of the other children, the life and the, and the joy and the, and the happiness of being alive absolutely shines through and and you know they want me to photograph them they, they fight each other so that they could be you know the subject and you know that that's what I wanted to portray really because historically photographs of children in Africa it's all sad and and you know it's it's kind of pulls on people's heartstrings in in quite a morbid way really whereas when you meet the children of fire they are so joyous that's what I wanted to portray you know, it's, it's about survival, not victimhood. Okay, so you photograph these kids, you go to Africa, you photograph them, and then you come back and you're ready to deal with people who have the same illness you had. It was an interesting jump, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, I, I think it, it was in some ways easier for me to do that project because I wasn't a photographer coming in saying, I want to photograph your scars, I want to photograph your thing. You know, I went in and, and lifted up my shirt and showed them my scar and said, "I'm, you know, it's like I'm." I'm, I'm one same. of you. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of you, and that worked really, really well. You know, I was I was quite nervous about asking people to to show me their scars. You know, it's quite an infringement at times. But what I found was that people wanted to show me their scars. They wanted to take their clothes off and and say, "Here's my scar. Here's my here's my battle wound." So it was really empowering for for them. And of course, I, I did self-portrait as well. I guess it's about, you know, it's about us reclaiming our bodies and saying, you know, after all of that intervention, all that medical intervention where you, you absolutely have to give up to whoever's dealing with you, this is about, here I am, I'm going to pose, you know, here's my scar. So you said it was empowering for them. Was it empowering for you to shoot them? Absolutely, yes. Because I was one of them. You know, we were all in it together. The issue with sarcoma is that people don't know about it. So people don't get diagnosed and I, I've had friends who've who've died of it since I've been diagnosed because they didn't they didn't check it out and the GPs didn't know about it creating awareness of both of 
of, of illnesses that need to be looked at earlier and also children in Africa who are getting burnt needlessly because of because of poverty it has you know it's 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 where I am now so you had mentioned the poverty over there so how did the poverty lead to these burns in in Johannesburg where we went there um, and, and you know right across Africa there are quite a lot of squatter camps which is people that have for whatever reason you know checked out of, of, of uh, conventional life and and they live in these these camps where the electricity is illegally pumped through um, they have kerosene lamps to keep to keep hot in the winter and you know the cooking utensils are, are really inadequate uh, plus things like candles um, so the accidents are, are there to happen you know a whole whole squatter camps burnt down and, and they have to rebuild them um, the children roam around you know quite freely uh, so many of the children that we met you know were, were, were cooking were pulled pots over them uh, was sleeping as babies and candles fell over you know really really kind of basic stuff that, that shouldn't be happening the charity is great because it allows Bronwyn to bring the children in and fundraise to get treatment in in England and Africa well let's go look at a couple couple of your pictures okay. so we're in your house and you have this one very serious photo of her rather than one of the more joyous effervescent photos mm. so why why your choice to hang this one in your house it's one of the only photographs that I've got of Belusha looking quite pensive and you know that the, there is there is an element of sorrow to to what's happened to Pelusha. For me, looking at that picture, I, I know Pelusha, but she doesn't show the pain and, the, and the, the trauma that she's been through. So I guess that was my capturing of, of that little bit of her that I don't normally get. I mean, it's it really is an incredibly strong portrait, and I could see it being used for all sorts of things for them to bring attention mm. to this problem. Let's talk about... Okay, and this is Holly. Uh, uh, I was asked to do a project for Sarcoma Awareness because, you know, people don't know a lot about it. Um, one of the sad things I think about sarcoma is it's, it's quite a young person's cancer, so it'll hit people when they're, you know, in their early 20s. Uh, and, of course, that's exactly the time when people want to, you know, be their best, they're developing their confidence, who they are. Holly's gone through chemo, she's lost all her hair, she's, she's a brilliant artist herself actually. So it was great to work with her and and get a portrait of her looking pretty stunning actually. It's a great, uh, yeah she looks beautiful. Even though we've been through all these traumas and we've got all these scars and, and whatever, we can still be positive about about how we look and, and powerful, you know. So before we end, just talk about the difference bef before you started getting into work about scars and illness. You did regular portraits, mm -hmm. landscapes. So let's talk about the emotional reward of doing one versus the other. One might be more of a financial reward, whereas... One of the worrying things is that you are controlling the person. You're taking their portrait. So what I think, how I've developed is that I'm working much more collaboratively with people. So, you know, they want me to take their photograph and, and we want to raise awareness of what's happening. It's a, it's a much more powerful way for me to be a photographer. And much, you know, it's much more meaningful, really. Great. Well, here you have it, Scars on Two Continents. Uh, your website will be down here somewhere if people want to take a look. Thanks for talking. Thank you, Ted. Thanks for coming. <laughs>